All right, so our candidate is Pete Buttigieg, and we're here to explain why he's the best candidate for the 2020 election. Starting with one message, global warming isn't a matter of if it's happening, but when it will stop. Besides extreme temperatures that have weathered the globe, the more talk about topic is also starting to push fires. Being that this is a direct example of global warming, we have done very little to fix the problem. Buddha Judge, who lives in Indiana, is very familiar with address to climate change. He estimates that if we don't jump on the right track in the next 10 years, we could be facing our demise by the year 2050. Either way you dice it, it's only 30 years from now. Buddha Judge plans on making a more eco friendly society. Um, another reason is, is that he served in the Army. He was an intelligence officer in the Navy, in the Navy Reserves for about six years. He had one six month deployment to Afghanistan and he joined after the 9-11 terrorist attacks volunteering service in Iraq and Afghanistan. His job in the military was to disrupt terrorist finance attacks and he drove um, a Humvee and people around for over 100 trips. Pete understands the problems and issues that we have when in our country with veterans and military and he intends to fix them. Another issue that Pete intends to fix is healthcare. In our country today, healthcare is a major problem. Insurance coverage is so low for Americans and it's not even helping. Primary care for people is not doing as much as it can to help people and giving minimal care. Some problems with the system are fraud, care that is not managed, hospital errors, and racial and ethnic bias. Pete intends to fix these problems by redefining the whole healthcare system and going into a new era of healthcare for all Americans. Most of our students struggle with financial aid. Because of this, the road to more divorce with proper education is great. The education system has drastically changed over the years, meaning the mental demand for a higher level of learning is very much present. According to a 2018 study, 44.7 million Americans suffer from severe debt. We have reached an all time high of $1.4 trillion, which is an increase of 160% in the past 10 years. He doesn't believe that students who want to pursue a future should have to go through such costly crises. He plans on reforming the entire epidemic. Be 2020. Trump's help, I now have a job so I can feed my family. With Trump's help, I can receive the health care I need.
Do you want to feel respected? Do you want equality for all? Do you believe you deserve to prosper? Well, Andrew Yang is the president for you. Andrew is here for a change and wants to truly make America great. Last year, the company Amazon made $200 billion. You want to know how much they paid in taxes? Zip, zilch, nada. None of that was taxed. And Yang believes in taxing the rich more and then spreading it among the people. Now, people see that and they're like, well, they earned that money. They shouldn't be taxed on it. But really, it wouldn't affect them that much. It'd literally be like, for every couple million, it would tax them just a couple thousand more. And that would then be spread to us. And he wants to help Americans prosper by giving, by like I said, spreading it, giving them a thousand dollars a month. And that thousand dollars a month would go towards daycare, uh, paying your water bill, your electricity bill, anything like that. And then it's just something that would maybe even help you start a business. It's just overall going to help Americans prosper and boost our economy. Even Martin Luther King Jr. agreed with him. He said, I am, th what Martin Luther King once said, I am now convinced that the simplest approach will prove to be the most efficient. The solution of poverty is just to abolish it directly by, uh, to be the most effective. The solution is to abolish it directly by a now widely discussed measure, the guaranteed income. Back with Martin Luther King, he was even realizing that a guaranteed income was the way to go. He also want, Yang also wants to change how our current greedy, money-based society is and focus it more on humans, because what makes society? Us. So we should prosper, and he wants to change it to where we're going to be the ones prospering in this society. Yang also wants to create Medicare for All, which then also goes along with all of us prospering. He wants everyone to have access to Medicare, but the thing is he doesn't want to abolish his all private insurance. If you have an insurance that gets you what you need, keep your private insurance. So, Yang is here for more than just his party. He's here for you.